Assalamualaikum, very good day. I'm Muhammad Faizal bin Omar and we are from Department of Decision Sciences, School of IT Sciences, University of Tarang Malaysia. This is my second paper for today. Uh, the entitled Prioritization of University Agenda for R&D Strategic Planning. Okay, this is the presentation online for today. Uh, start with introduction, some literature review, the agenda for R&D Strategic Planning, problem statement, top six method, result, discussion and conclusion. For the introduction, uh, well, this paper basically is uh, our, this is our result in order to demonstrate our approach in order to prioritize agenda that is available in the strategic planning. So at the moment, uh, there is no available tools in order to prioritize or probably uh, the prioritization is only done based on the human judgment. So a lot of bias, uncertainties and also inaccuracies will exist if it involves only for human judgment. So that's why in this research, we uh, come up with a tool, with decision making tools or quantitative tools to know to assist decision making towards uh, a better prioritization of UNC agenda uh, for strategic planning. So the scope of the strategic planning concern on the R&D activities. The method that we use in this uh, in this uh, research is what we call as a multi-criteria decision making technique uh, that is specifically for TOPSIS. Well, this is just a few example of university agenda, uh, especially in Malaysia. So uh, each of the university, I believe, have their own internal strategic planning which inside their internal strategic planning uh, is uh, designed to support uh, either it is international agenda or it is national agenda or if it is international agenda probably most probably it coming from the QS World Refugee Ranking uh, in, we also have THE which is a world university ranking and also at national level we have national research assessment or we call as MIRA okay. uh, all this uh, probably is uh, for the internal strategic planning in university might have more than these three uh, but basically uh, or generally I would say that uh, these are the common in, uh, university agenda that uh, university in Malaysia so, for the KPIs uh, in the context of R&D, it probably consists of research and then knowledge as dissemination that consists of especially publication uh, and then we have knowledge transfer, this is a community project or social innovation and then we have the uh, innovation and commercialization. Uh, this is under technology transfer. Well, uh, for the research, uh, for the KPIs and research, uh, commonly or generally in Malaysia, we have university grant, number of university grant, or number of principal investigator, or what is the value of university grant, or what is the value of industry grant. So, all these are the the measurable criteria or measurable KPIs that being set at uh, university level and at national level through MIRA. Uh, and then secondly, uh, most important main criteria is knowledge dissemination, which is the publication. Okay. Um, so this is very important uh, 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 criteria is very important because each and every uh, academy has to publish. They has to do. They have uh, to do research. They must also publish as well. So it is uh, divided into articles, policy papers, books, electronic media, or scopus. Uh, we have index journals. Uh, 
search books and so on, there are plenty. Yeah? And then uh, we also have social innovation or community engagement uh, criteria. Yeah? So inside this knowledge transfer, we also have start uh, criteria, which is industry, agency, community engagement, number of project. Then we have a social innovation project that have their own uh, rating under Myra. And also another one, an important thing is uh, innovation. Yeah. So number of IPs, for example, uh, how many licensing is available, how many uh, commercialized product, how many startups spin off, and so on. So these are the criteria that is under uh, R&D activities. Okay, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, this is actually part of our research. Uh, we actually have our own research framework, which is an integrated diagnostic method for strategic planning, especially for R&D activities. But before we go into that, we need to prioritize the agenda. Which one is most important? For example, we pre previously we have, for example, we have QS, THE, Myra. Which one is most important? So he has to come up with some measurable uh, value that indicate the importance of the agenda. So we uh, have to determine that value first before we go into more complex uh, calculation. So we deploy TOPSIS. So TOPSIS is uh, being introduced by Huang and Yun in 1980s. So we use this technique TOPSIS as part of the of our MCDM technique. So this uh, in TOPSIS method, this is a flowchart of the TOPSIS method where uh, we identify a set of criteria first and also set of alternatives as well. Uh, so this is being done by a literature review and also being validated in our case studies in University A. Yeah? And then after that, we uh, we develop the uh, the TOPSIS method uh, by using Excel, and these are the uh, formulation of formal definition of the, each of the uh, steps in TOPSIS you know, until we find the uh, the the rating of each of the alternative. So this one is the last part, which is the sign preference value for each of the alternatives. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, this is actually the the week that we assigned by three experts, that namely R1, R2, and R3. R3. So we identify these four factors that consist of critical, realistic achievable and readiness uh, we get this from uh, literature review and being validated by the experts uh, so these are the um, the weightage that being set uh, by the uh, decision makers okay um, so based on the topsis method these are the alternative being, uh, of course, the, the, the process has been done, and the, this is the result yield from the tops, our TOPSIS method. R1, in, as I said, R1 indicate X1, X2, and X3. These are uh, uh, it's actually a stakeholders in UCA that. Uh, have worked more than five years in the area of strategic planning and R&D management in the university. Uh, so these are the result of the performance of each of the agenda, the ranking of the agenda. Yeah. So most of the experts agree that uh, Myra 
and QS uh, as the most important uh, agenda, yeah, uh, including the AACSB, yeah, and also the rest is PAC and so on. It's about the same. Mostly, it's about the same. Yeah. So this value, for example, all this value will be aggregated from these three expert to uh, to get the final result. So we use uh, an aggregate, uh, mean aggregate, yeah, uh, to get the average of the performance of each of the uh, of the agenda. Which uh, the first one is Myra, QS ranking, SSB, and so on. So these are the value that yield from Myra from three experts. So this value will be used for our next step. Uh, which is the uh, which is to demonstrate our uh, our dashboard. We will use as dashboard. We will have our separate scoring based on our formulation, and then we will use this value as part of our scoring for to measure the uh, performance of the faculties in the university. As a conclusion, we hope that these two will enable decision makers to make a better judgment, a more structured judgment in order to prioritize uh, a research agenda to meet the, require the international and national requirements. And, uh, and this technique will hope to improve uh, the current infrastructure of information system especially the support strategic planning and uh, eventually it will help uh, to improve the R&D ecosystem indirectly. With that, I think that's it from our group. Uh, this is our references, our selected references. And I think that's it. Uh, thank you very much. If you have any question, we are happy to answer. Please drop us, drop us an email or just uh, put in a comment there and we shall reply. So thank you very much.